Hello, welcome. Thank you all so much for joining me here. My name is Charity and this message is for Scorpio. So this is going to be a you and them love reading. I'll have your cards on one side and your person's cards on the other. This could be somebody specifically on your mind, connected to or coming towards you, depending upon your situation. For the main cards of the reading, I'll be using the Mystical Manga Tarot and the Fortune Telling Tarot deck by Yoshitaka Amano. If clarifiers are needed, the Anime Tarot. I'm recording this message for the energies of November, but I do ask these readings to be timeless and give you something you need to hear when you need to hear it. And happy birthday to any Scorpios who celebrate this month. So let's get started. Spirit, what is the heart of the matter? What is Scorpio thinking overall about a connection or a potential connection? What are some things going on in the daily life could be affecting this? What is happening in your heart space? How are you feeling? How are you feeling about the person on your mind? What intentions do you have towards this connection? And what is a potential outcome in the near future for whenever you are meant to hear this message? Okay, let's get the cards for the person, the person connected to coming towards Scorpio or on Scorpio's mind. What are they thinking overall about Scorpio and this connection or potential connection with them? What are some things going on in the daily life could be affecting this? What is happening in the heart space? How are they feeling? How are they feeling about Scorpio? What intentions do they have towards this connection? And what is a potential outcome in the near future? Oh my goodness. For whenever you are meant to hear this message. Okay, wow. We just had some really powerful, pow, powerful cards. Goodness, I can hardly speak. Um, just fly out for your person. So... Things could, things could get interesting this month, Scorpio. They are, there's some powerful, like strong, like soul connection cards, honestly, that just came out here. So heart of the matter, we have the seven of cups, Scorpio energy specifically, but this can be when you have a lot of different things going on, a lot of different options, a lot of different choices, or a lot that is just on your mind. Sometimes it can be feeling confused or unsure because you're pulled this way and that. I always feel like with this card, you know, it just kind of shows how we're always manifesting based on what we're thinking, feeling, focusing our energy energy on but if we're being pulled this way and that you know this person saying this that person saying that you know and we don't just take that time to just be on our own get in our own energy we can manifest things that we're not really you know happy with some good some not so good but it's because we aren't really you know owning and deciding and setting those intentions for what it is we really desire and want to manifest so the seven of cups is always this reminder because right after that comes the eight of cups which is somebody who's walking away from things that don't serve to focus on what it is their heart really desires, which will lead to that nine of cups, which is, you know, good news, a wish fulfilled and a 10 of cups, which is a happy, you know, beautiful lasting connection for me and a love reading. But the seven of cups energy is when you're still feeling a little unsure all over the place, you know, and honestly, you could have some different things coming up or different, you know, maybe different opportunities that you've got to make some decisions about. Let's go ahead and see why we we have that seven of cups um ace of swords how is that is exactly, my goodness, that is exactly what I'm talking about. It is clarified by the Ace of Swords. And on the bottom of the deck, Ace of Cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, all the air, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius here. I feel like, Scorpio, you know what it is that you want. You know the kind of connection, the kind of love, what it is you're really hoping for, but maybe you are feeling a little pulled this way and that by different things maybe that people are saying around you. I feel like you're shifting gears this month. You are going within. You're getting, you know, creating some, you know, making some decisions, creating some healthy boundaries, and I feel like it's very positive because it's leading to somebody making some sort of really big move here towards you. But we have the Seven of Cups clarified with the Ace of Swords. I feel like in your mind, you know what it is that you want. You do have that clarity. And so I feel like there's just this moment of deciding, you know what? I know what I want to think about. I know what I want to set intentions towards. I know what I want to manifest. And I'm going to stop worrying so much about all of this other stuff and think about what it is I really want. 
Interesting that your person has the Queen of Swords, strong Libra energy here, but all the air can be significant, Aquarius and Gemini. But with the Queen of Swords, this is somebody who is feeling pretty clear, pretty sure. I mean, somebody is thinking about you much more maybe than you realize. And are, I mean, I mean, they could be like, <laughs> I don't know why I'm like suddenly repeating myself here. They could be like sending you psychic messages. Like you could be communicating telepathically with a queen of swords and an ace of swords because I feel like there's these thoughts going back and forth. And we also have a high priestess here, which is incredibly psychic and intuitive. You know, that doesn't have to apply to all of you, but I feel like there are thoughts. It's like you're thinking about them. They're thinking about you. But this is somebody who is deciding to focus on what really is important, deciding to take some steps and release what doesn't serve so that they can focus on what it is they really desire and I feel like their mind and heart is set on you um, in your daily life you've got the high priestess cancer uh, Virgo Pisces energy can be significant here but I feel like you know you do know you do know what's up it is deep within and the high priestess energy can be very quiet it's like that quiet inner knowing the things that we know that we don't necessarily have to tell anyone else or explain the things that we pick up intuitively and i do feel like there could be somebody that you feel a connection to or somebody you know is coming in and your guides are saying get into that energy trust your source trust your center trust what it is you intuitively know above anything else because there is like there is something Thing coming up here for you but it feels like you've just got to like clear your mind and get in that place of really thinking about what it is that you want spirit why do we have the high priestess yeah i can't believe the way these cards are like completely speaking what it is that i'm feeling intuitively here we have the high priestess clarified by the two of swords and the hermit. The hermit is another energy of getting into your own energy, taking a little break from everything that would distract you or make you second guess yourself and really get into your own energy and get sure about what you want without worrying about what everybody else thinks. We have the hermit sitting next to a two of swords. The two of swords is when it's time to make a heart overhead decision, but you're feeling a little guarded up in your head, overthinking, trying to be logical and struggling to trust your heart but I feel like you know you know in your heart what it is that you want and with this hermit energy you could be thinking very deeply about somebody maybe you haven't quite said exactly what you're feeling or what's on your mind you could be thinking about them quite a lot but your guides are saying like taking a little time to go within can really be key and I feel like Scorpio understands that we also have a Scorpio new moon I believe coming up really powerful so you guys might be feeling that as well your person in their daily life has the nine of pentacles and you've got a nine of pentacles showing up here in the outcome so we definitely have some mirroring energy which i like a lot because in order to have a ten of pentacles that happy lasting stable connection with someone both people have to be in this balanced space on their own they have to find within themselves their you know their um their confidence their strength, their independence, their, you know, um, just be feeling established, all of these things. Like they've got to find it within themselves. And then, you know, you attract somebody who's in that same place and you can share it. Your person with the nine of pentacles could be taking a little time also to kind of get into their own energy, Virgo energy here. And if I didn't mention Virgo and Libra with the two of swords and the hermit here, but um, could be taking a little time if it's somebody that had to make some decisions in their life to clear out some sort of other situation could be third party or anything I mean anything that could have been standing in between them feeling you know really ready to um, take a step towards you this is somebody who's finding some balance this is somebody who's finding some you know um, some balance within themselves so that they feel like they have more to offer in your heart space, you have the Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is there. This is feeling interested and wanting to talk to somebody. 
There could even be somebody that, you know, you feel excited about when you think about them with this energy, you know, this fiery energy in your heart space. The page of wands for me always feels a little bit tentative. Like you want to talk, you want to be around them. You're not laying it all out on the table. You're kind of testing the waters. What's up? How are you doing? You know, but it is taking some sort of initiative, taking some sort of stand. You could also have somebody coming towards you with messages and communications. And it could be somebody who has been quiet because because this person in their heart space has a ten of swords, Gemini energy here, but this is somebody who could be quiet, could be missing you, could be longing for you, could be feeling like they don't even know if they have a chance. This can be somebody feeling defeated, but the ten of swords is coming to the end of a painful cycle. Now, I do have to say in their outcome, they have these powerful energies of somebody who is definitely you know, wanting to make something happen with you, but I don't know if they feel like they even have a chance right here with this Ten of Swords in their heart. Let's go ahead and see what this Ten of Swords is all about. That can be somebody feeling defeated, discouraged, let down, you know, stressed, overwhelmed, but coming to the end of a painful cycle, in fact, they could be, yeah, they could be ending some things that maybe did stand in the way of the two of you with this nine of pentacles in their daily life, which is somebody who's very, you know, independent, single, ready, you know, ready for a connection or ready to get more serious. But we have the 10 of swords clarified by the strength card with an eight of wands on the bottom of the deck. Scorpio, this person wants to talk to you. They want to move forward. They want to explore things, take things to the next level. The Eight of Wands is messages and communications. It is paired here with a Ten of Swords and a Strength card. Leo energy, Sagittarius for this Eight of Wands, but somebody who's felt defeated, maybe has even been quiet with this Strength energy is clearly finding the confidence, the strength, whatever they feel they need to take the stand because with the Eight of Wands, they want this to happen. They want this to move forward. So your intentions are the Page of Cups, which I love the Page of Cups. All the water, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces here, but the Page of Cups, you know, for me in a love reading, it's flirtation, it's, you know, good feelings, it can be new beginnings and fresh starts, which you can have at any point, no matter how new somebody is, how long since you spoke to them, or how long you've known them, you can have those new moments of just realizing what your feelings are and realizing what somebody means to you and having all of this come up and just wanting to express it. So that can really happen at any point of it in a connection. But your intentions here are to explore these feelings. With a page of wands and a page of cups, I think you're interested. I think you want to talk. I think you want to see what can happen. I think you want to see where this can go. But I got to tell you, you're going to be smart about it. Before we even get into all your person's energies coming up here, because there's a lot they're hoping for with you, we, I definitely see this really well-balanced energy of you wrapping up old cycles, taking a little time for yourself with the Ten of Wands, Nine of Pentacles, and really healthy boundaries with the Seven of Wands. It's like you're ready to open your heart. You're ready to explore something, ready to flirt, but my goodness, it's got to be the right thing with these energies coming out. So your person has the star in their intentions. Aquarius here, but the star, somebody who has been through a tower because the star comes after the tower in the fool's journey in the major arcana is somebody who maybe had a shakeup, maybe felt like they lost it, you know, lost it, lost their chance, lost something in their life. Maybe some things that happened in the past, maybe something that happened with you, maybe something else, whatever it is with this 10 of swords, I think they felt pretty defeated here and honestly it could have been something between the two of you it doesn't have to be though but with the star this is somebody who's rising and I feel like it could be taking everything they have with the strength energy here rising from that defeated energy rising from the past rising from whatever you know could have taken a toll on them and is finding themselves and I feel like the more they find themselves the more they think of you. This is somebody who's feeling more confident, feeling more sure, somebody who's opening up their heart, somebody who is kind of rising from the ashes of a difficult time, but look at their outcome. Their outcome with you is the sun, the judgment, the lovers, and the ace of swords. 
This is somebody that whatever they have been through, I feel like they are putting it behind them because you're their happiness. You're the one that they want to be with. And I have to say, you're in a good space, Scorpio, or you're going to be in a good space if you aren't feeling it right now because you're attracting in somebody who wants so much more with you. With the Ten of Wands, Nine of Pentacles, and Seven of Wands, we have Sagittarius, Leo, Virgo energy could be significant. Um, this is wrapping up old cycles, wrapping up old burdensome cycles, but also seeing through the things that are important to you, deciding what matters, deciding what to focus on. With the nine of pentacles, you could be taking a little time to nurture yourself, be in your own energy, be in your own space, gain that, you know, that stability, feel good about yourself. And, um, and that is, you know, as I was saying, how you attract somebody who is in that similar energy to really have something stable. And while you're in that energy, you've got a seven of wands. The Seven of Wands is somebody who's saying no to things that don't serve so they can take a stand for what matters. It is healthy boundaries. It's knowing what you want. It's taking the high road, taking the high ground. And I feel like because it has taken a lot to get to this place, to get to this place where you do, you know, feel better about who you are, that you do feel confident in your decisions, that you aren't being distracted by everything that everybody else, you know, wants and says, you know what it is you really want. You're going to make sure that if you're going to take initiative or make a move or take a stand towards something, it's got to be right. I'm going to go ahead and pull clarifier. Spirit, why do we have the Ten of Wands, Nine of Pentacles, and the Seven of Wands here. Nine of Cups. With the Nine of Cups, you know. You know, Scorpio, what it is that you want. And with the Nine of Cups, that's a wish come true. You know how I was saying you started out in the Seven of Cups energy, which can be feeling a little confused or having a lot of decisions to make or being pulled this way and that. But finding that clarity, deciding what's important. With the Eight of Cups, you know, kind of going on that journey, leaving behind things that don't serve, choosing what matters to you, kind of similar to the Seven of Wands, saying no to what isn't right so you can say yes to what is, is bringing in something that is wish fulfillment, something that is a wish come true, something you've been hoping for, and it's definitely connected to this person coming towards you. We've got the Sun, the Judgment, the Lovers. Gemini, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Leo energy here. But with the sun, this person feels like you're the one. You're the one they could be happy with. You're the one they want to be happy with. They could want to make you happy. This is good news. Now, if those of you that have been hoping to hear from or talk to a Scorpio or have a Scorpio reach out with a page of cups and page of wands, they could be reaching out. Take this as it resonates and it could make you extremely happy. But for many of you, um, Scorpios, you've got something coming towards you with the nine of cups, something that is a wish fulfillment and it is something connected to happiness, good news, the judgment card, which is a turning point. This is the universe blowing the trumpet, saying it is time. Put the past in the past, have a fresh start, maybe an open, honest conversation, maybe a new beginning, but it's a turning point. The difficulties of the past are in the past and whatever this really defeated energy this person was in in their heart space, I feel like they're moving beyond it because this is somebody that sees you with this lover's energy as their person. And they could be getting a big nudge from the universe with a judgment card to to take a stand, to say something, to do something. Um, because honestly, with the lovers, they feel like you're it. They don't want to miss this chance. They don't want to miss this opportunity. Our final card for your person is the Ace of Swords. Your reading started out with the Ace of Swords and the final card is the Ace of Swords. There's something that you're focusing on, something you're setting intentions towards that I feel like you are attracting in. This is somebody who is thinking about you and is deciding to make what they feel crystal clear. This could be somebody wanting to resurrect something at times. That's the case with the judgment card. Doesn't have to be. Just have to say that for those if that resonates with your story, your situation. Can be somebody asking you to put the past in the past and have a fresh start with them. Doesn't have to be. Um, it's just one of the many things it can mean. But it is the universe saying it is time. It's time for some happiness. It's time to embrace this opportunity. And I feel like this person is so interested. I mean, you don't get the lovers here as a potential outcome if they're not is so interested in you. And I feel like they're going to strike up a conversation and tell you honestly exactly how much you mean. 
how much you mean to them. And I feel like this could be somebody that means a lot to you as well. So that is a message I have for you. I do hope that something in this reading spoke to everyone who was guided to this reading. If you enjoyed it, please put a like. If you haven't subscribed, I would love if you would. Love you, Scorpio, and I'll talk to you soon.